Hi guys! Did you know that transition lenses tend to get darker when you are in Baguio compared when you are in Manila? Cool, right? Check this out! Hi everyone! So, I am in Manila right now. As you can see, medyo sunny siya ngayon. Hi everyone! So, I'm currently at Mines View Park. And this is how my transition looks right now. And ito yung view natin. So, not much of a sunlight. But still, as you can see, super dark na nung transition lenses ko right now. Did you also guys know that transition lenses tends to get dark even if it is cloudy and there's no sun around? Check this out! So we just got out of the car and this is how my transition looks. And tingnan niyo yung sun right now. Hindi siya ganun ka. This is the husband and the best friend. So hindi ganun ka sun ni ngayon. Quite cloud and feeling ko mamaya ang buta. And this is how it looks now. So it appears not much sun around. A stomach UV and it still gets dark. And even if it is raining. So so on a rainy day it looks like this one. Bawal mag kaya sakit kaya hanggang dito na lang yung video. Even if it's raining, there's a brownish finish. And we are at Kanchan Hay. And do you also know that transition lenses is actually a brand name? And the generic term for that is photochromic lenses. So if you guys want to learn more about this light adapting lenses, then please continue watching. Before we discuss any of the trivia questions a while ago, we first should discuss what is photochromic lenses in the first place. So what are photochromic lenses and how does it work? Photochromic lenses are the type of light adapting lenses that tends to get dark whenever you are outdoors because you are exposed to sunlight. So tinatawag siyang light adapting lenses kasi when you are exposed to sunlight, automatically it gets dark. Kapag ka hindi ka na exposed to sunlight and hindi ka na exposed to UV radiation, then nagiging clear na siya din. It would take about a minute or two depending on the brand of your photochromic lenses. So ito yung tinatag natin ng automatic shades. So how does it actually work? This type of lenses contains special molecules in them that whenever it is exposed to UV radiation, nagdidikit-dikit yung mga molecules niya. That's why it gets darker. So what is the difference between photochromic lenses, transition lenses, sensitive lenses? E para parehas naman silang nagda-dark pag na-expose sa araw. Photochromic lenses is actually the generic name. So para siyang paracetamol. Paracetamol siya yung generic name. Pero may brand siya na Biogesic, may branded siya ng Advil. Parehas sila nakakawala ng sakit ng ulo, pero iba-iba lang yung manufacturing nila. Same goes with these lenses. So transition lenses is actually a brand. So hindi lahat ng photochromic lenses are transition lenses. For all of them, does the work, it changes its color whenever it is exposed to sunlight. So for our big question, why does it get darker in Baguio compared when you are in Manila? It's because of the altitude. Baguio is 5,200 feet above sea level, while Manila is 26 feet above sea levels. So the higher the altitude is, the more you are exposed to UV radiation. Living at a higher elevation exposes you to 25% more UV compared when you are at a sea level. And according to Weather Atlas, Baguio's sunshine exposure is 10.5 hours, and the UV index is between 7 to 10. 
So, medyo mataas siya. The UV index measurement is between 0 to 11. So, sa Baguio, nandun siya sa higher side. So, talagang mataas yung exposure mo. So, UV levels when you are in Baguio compared when you are in Manila. And tandaan natin, photochromic lenses are UV activated. That is why it tends to get darker in Baguio compared when you are in Manila. Why does this photochromic lenses tends to get dark even if it is cloudy and wala namang araw? Okay, so when we are in a cloudy situation, some of the UVA and UVB are being absorbed by these clouds. Tama yun. But they do not totally block off all the UVA and the UVB. So yung iba, nakakalusot pa rin. That's why your photochromic lenses tends to get dark even if it is cloudy and wala naman talaga strong sunlight. Kasi nandun pa rin yung UV exposure mo. Few minutes after I wore it and na-exposed sa sun, ganito na siya ka-dark. Even if, again, wala masyadong sun right now. Especially when you are in a higher altitude, lesser yung atmosphere that would absorb this UV. Kaya mas dark pa rin talaga ito. Kaya pansin mo, di ba, pag nagsiswimming ka, kahit walang araw, nangingitin ka pa rin kasi exposed ka pa rin sa UV exposure. One of the most asked questions, does it get dark inside a car? No, it typically doesn't because the windshield actually absorbs most of the UV rays. So what will you do, what will you wear if you have light sensitivity when you are inside the car? So nasisilaw ka pa din because of the strong sunlight, even if na-absorb na ng windshield mo yung UV. So meron tayong tinatawag na photochromic sunglasses. These are type of sunglasses that gets darker still when you are inside the car. So meron tayong particular lenses for driving. Meron tayong tinatawag na transitions drive wear. Meron din sensitive dark. Polarized lenses. So these are the type of lenses that you could use when you have this sensitivity when you are inside your car. Now, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this photochromic lenses. Let's start off with the advantages. First advantage, it is undeniably convenient. You can use it both outdoors and indoors so you don't need an extra pair of sunglasses. Especially for those people na mataas ng grado, hindi sila basta-basta makakasuot ng sunglasses because these sunglasses typically doesn't have grade. So kapag sinuot nila yun, malawas sa kanila unless na ipapagawa nila talaga yung sunglasses nila. Second advantage, of course, it offers you UV protection. It offers 100% UV protection. So it delays the development of cataract and age-related macular degeneration. So when you are really exposed to outdoors, it is really recommended for you to wear this photochromic lenses, especially sa mga matatanda. Kasi sa matatanda, mas prone sila in developing cataracts. Or for some people that underwent cataract surgery already, prone na yung ugat nila na masunog or magkaroon ng sunburn from UV. So it is best recommended for them to wear photochromic lenses. Another advantage is it comes with different styles and colors. So, hindi lang siya basta color gray. It comes with different types of colors so it can protect you aesthetically and fashion. And it can complement your face and your hair color as well. Sample ng colors natin like this one. So, transition lenses natin. We have different colors available in the market. You have gray, green, brown, amethyst, sapphire, emerald green, and amber. This is for Transitions. Sa sensitive naman natin, we have gray, green, brown natin. Okay. Meron din tayong pinatawag na sun and fun lenses. Sa sun and fun lenses natin, meron color red, yellow, orange, purple, and blue. So, ang daming available in the market. Although, yung mga iba't ibang color natin, they are only available in our branded photochromic lenses. They are not available in the local photochromic. So, let's talk about the disadvantages. Some photochromic lenses are sensitive in temperature. So when you are in a colder weather, this photochromic lenses tends to get dark slower compared when you are in a warmer situation. Kaya minsan, mas matagal siyang mag-dark, especially kapag nasa malamig kang lugar. Another disadvantage is, merong mga ibang photochromic lenses na ang bilis mag-dark. Meron namang ibang photochromic lenses na ang bagal mag-dark. Meron pang iba, nag-stay yung tint niya. So even indoors, nandun na yung tint niya. Hindi na nawawala, especially after using it for a long period of time. This differs from one brand to the other. It depends on how much you are willing to spend for this type of photochromic lenses. From my own experience, mas maganda talaga yung quality ng transition lenses and sensitive lenses compared to this local brands in the market, offered in the market. Kasi, mas mabilis talaga mag-darken yung mga branded lenses natin. It's not because I want to promote these branded lenses. It's just because mas maganda lang talaga yung quality na. Their coatings, 
at sa mga talagang pinag-aralan nila tong lenses na to. Kaya siya mahal because it is based with scientific evidences. So another disadvantage is of course the price. Yung price range natin differs. So merong mga mura, merong as low as 1.5 pesos you could get the photochromic lenses. Meron naman iba as high up to 6,000 pesos. So it differs from one brand again to another kasi iba-iba yung technology na ginamit nila and iba-iba yung science behind it. From my own experience, ang nagamit ko na lenses is sensitive lenses, transition lenses, and may times na bitipin ako, I tried the local um, photochromic lenses. The difference between those three, of course, sensitive and transitions, ang bilis talaga nila mag-dark compared to these local transitions. And may mga ibang tao kasi na sensitive with the coating. Kapag sanay na sila with transition lenses and sensitive lenses, tapos bigla mo silang uh, nilipat to a local brand, nahihilo yung iba because of the coating. And kaya siya mahal because of the science behind it. When you're going to analyze it, para lang siyang vaccine. Iba sa vaccine and namin ibang ibang brands. Merong iba mura, merong iba mahal because of the science behind it and because of the efficiency and effectiveness. Although lahat yun offers you protection. So one last question before we end this. Is it really safe to buy photochromic lenses online? Well, for me, the answer is if you bought it with your eye doctor, then it's safe. But if you buy it with an online seller and it's not licensed, then for me, it's not really safe. Why? Because they might offer you a photochromic lenses that is not of good quality because they really don't know the science behind this. Some really cannot distinguish a good quality one from a bad quality one. Paano ko nasabi? Kasi I bought some of the photochromic lenses sold online na sobrang mura. I will be showing you in my next vlogs. We will be comparing different brands of photochromic lenses. So para manaman natin ano ba yung mga differences between these brands. Uh, so let's analyze it this way. Would you buy a vaccine sold online? Na mas mura siya pero hindi naman nisensyado yung magbibenta sa'yo? Are you going to feel safe and secured about it? Well, that's for you to answer. And thank you very much for watching this vlog with me. Till our next videos.